guys, it's more here with Tech Tales, AKA What The Fluff, that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, you know what, it's funny, I just came back from a, uh, a business expo seminar with Tony Robbins, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, Robert Hershevik, and a few uh, others that were just pushing sales. But anyways, um, I wanted to do this video on a question that was answered on, or that was asked on Quora.com, um, and I'm gonna read it for you. What is harder between being a customer service representative and a sales agent? This is a great question, right? Because you have sales and customer service and a lot of people believe or think that sales and customer service are two separate entities. And yeah, they are on paper, um, but I always say when I hire people for uh, sales or customer service, I'm always looking for a salesperson to have customer service skills and I'm always looking for a customer service person to have sales skills. So um, sales and customer service is essentially the same thing, right? I mean, think about the last time that you called, um, I don't know, T-Mobile, not T-Mobile, because they're actually pretty good, but I don't know, Metro PCS, or some really bad customer service phone number, and you got the worst customer service. Now think of the time where you had amazing customer service over the phone or over chat, for example, Amazon, uh, Amazon's customer support, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> is actually phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal, it's great. Um, so think about that time with Amazon customer support. Their customer support people almost behave like a salesperson. Um, so the question is, I guess, what's, what's harder between the two? Most salespeople, unless you're working um, for, you know, by the hour, are working commission. They're, they're paying their bills, they're paying their school loans, their livelihood is based off of commission. So the sales position is probably a lot more emotional because it's a roller coaster. It literally fluctuates. One day you have sales left and right, and the other day you're actually lower on uh, the margin. You're not closing, your demos are not getting closed, your appointments aren't setting, being uh, set up, people are canceling on you, so it's very emotional. Um, and the, the more emotion, the more, I don't know, low you are in your emotion, the, the worst sales could be for you, right? Because when you're happy, your customers feel it and you close deals. Customer service, a lot of companies pay them by the hour or a certain salary, not necessarily a percentage or commission. So their emotion is different, right? Their emotion is more of like, wow, this customer is really a pain in the ass. It's, they're really annoying to deal with. So it's a different, completely different animal in terms of managing, but um, very similar roles right? Sales close off of commission, customer service. It's just more of satisfaction of the customer and promotions can be based off of satisfaction. Um, I think that not everyone can be a salesperson and not everyone can be a customer service person. I've seen people that are phenomenal at customer service. And I thought, I thought to myself, you know what? They may be good as a salesperson. So I brought them over into sales, but they weren't doing well. Um, and I've had salespeople bring over, go into customer service and they weren't so good at what they did. Um, and the reason why is because it takes a certain personality, a certain curiosity to be in sales. But I believe that a true bred salesperson and a true bred customer service person actually go hand in hand. Nowadays, sales is different. It's not the, let me just push down a pro let me push a product down your throat. It's no longer, hey, buy this product and I'll never see you again. It's sales nowadays, 2018, moving forward, it's a relationship. You're right, you're getting married to the customer. It's not a one night stand, and I apologize if I'm being a little bit more uh, vulgar here, but it's more of a relationship. You really gotta wine and dine the customer and keep that relationship going. Through the pain and through the good, you are still there. That is a good salesperson. And even more so, that is a great customer service person. So what's the difference? Really nothing, maybe the salary, but a salesperson should have the same style and same curiosity and same uh, place of wanting to help as a customer service person. And a customer service person should have that same curiosity and same excitement and enthusiasm as a salesperson. So what's difficult? I think they're the same. I think the difficulty relies on the, the pay. I think that's where it relies on the pay, the emotion, um, but that's my two cents on it. Um, obviously, there's a lot more specifics to it depending on the company, depending on the business. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions, if you have any curious questions about sales, customer service, 
Um, the two go hand in hand. I always say a customer service person should be a salesperson and a salesperson should be a customer service person because that's where sales is. Guys, ask me more of these questions. I love these questions. They're awesome. It's what I do.